I spent 100 days in Minecraft Pixelmon, the mod that combines Pokemon and Minecraft. And my goals for these 100 days are not going to be easy to accomplish. We need to catch all three of the Kanto starter Pokemon, beat a legendary boss, get a whole team of level 100 Pokemon, catch a shiny Pokemon, and catch a legendary. Will I be able to complete all of my goals in these 100 days? Make sure you watch until the end to find out. Mr. Professor, how are you? It has been so long. But this professor is actually way more important than you might think because it's time for us to get our starter Pokemon. And you know, of course, I had to go with my boy Snivy, and I'm gonna give him the best name ever, Banana. Like, I have no idea why, but that is always the name I go for for Snivy, so you know what? Let's, let's do it. We got Banana. And really quickly before we move on, if you're watching this video right now, there is a good chance that you aren't subscribed. What is wrong with you people? So if you enjoy the video at any point, consider subscribing because I've got a ton of great Pixelmon content on the way. And don't forget to comment what legendary Pokemon you'll think I get at the end of the video. But with that being said, guys, let's get right into these 100 days. And look at our beautiful starter. We have Banana the Chosen One. I'm just gonna go ahead and slap a few rare candies on Banana real quick. Get him up to level 16 so we can evolve our starter. Because, you know, for one of our goals, we gotta get level 100 Pokemon. So, you know what? This is, this is a small step in the right direction. Look at this. Look at this. And just like that, we have evolved our banana into Servine. Let's go. But as you can see by the giant Kyogre in front of me, we are on the Kyogre server of Smash MC. If you guys want to come play Pixelmon with me, the server IP is mc.pokesmash.co and can also be found in the description. Come find me on the server. I'll be here. So we definitely need to go catch some more Pokemon, but before we do that, I'm going to level up Servine a bit. So we're going to head to the training area for some grinding. Oh, and this is actually perfect. In this training area, there's so many water Pokemon. I think we got Seal and Corefish to train on, so we should be able to get up to 36 rather quickly and evolve again. So I think we should definitely aim to get a Superior before we head out and start catching other Pokemon. What? I have never seen a shiny spawn in the training room. What? I have never seen a shiny Pokemon spawn here, and there's a shiny Dratini. What? Yo, alright, we gotta take on this shiny Dratini real quick. Let's kill it. Get out of here. Hey, sometimes you just gotta take on a shiny to assert dominance, all right? And just like that... Oh, yeah, we learned Coil too. Oh, that is so good. Oh, wait, Coil doesn't boost special attack. I guess we won't do that for now. But yo, here we go. Banana is evolving. We finally get our superior. Oh, this is so beautiful. I know this challenge is gonna have a lot of grinding in it. So at least having a Pokemon like this on our team is gonna make it go a little bit faster at the start. So that is great. And now we're on a day two. So I think it'd be a great idea to walk around and see if we can find any Pokemon to add to the team. I honestly don't have a preference for what I want the team to look like at the end. Just hopefully, you know, Rattatas, no Pidgeys. Ooh! Yo, a Hitmontop. This is a Pokemon that I never really get the chance to use, and it's also really good in battle. And the reason for that is because of Hitmontop's Intimidate ability. As soon as you send Hitmontop out into battle, the opposing Pokemon gets a minus one in attack, so it's very, very useful. Let's see, what would be the best way for me to weak this? I really don't want to kill this. This would be such a cool Pokemon on the team. Yo, and I see a Torkoal in the background, too. You guys know how I feel about Torkoal. Come on, stay in, stay... And then there we go. Him on top decides to stay in the ball, and we have our first team. I uh, bro, I want to catch this. A Don fan? This could be such a cool Pokemon on the team, too. Yo, I don't want to just catch all of our Pokemon from one biome, but this is ridiculous. Come on, stay in, stay in. Yo, we caught the level 45 Don fan. I honestly didn't think that would stay in the ball. Let's go. And as much as I want to use Torkoal, we've used it in one of these challenges before. I think I used it in a 24 hours, so we're going to stay away. Dude, these extreme hills biomes just have, like, the best pool of spawnable Pokemon. Look, look, there's a Rufflet in the air. And true. Truthfully, as much as I want to use a Braviary, let's get some other Pokemon from different biomes. Maybe we'll find something cool in this Plains biome. Who knows? It's a lot of, like, kind of basic Pokemon that spawn over here, but there might be something good. You never know. Man, I have been searching for a while. We are almost at the end of day two, and I haven't found a single Pokemon I want to use in the Plains. You know what? With that being said, I think it's time to... Ar I 
I'm drowning. I just wanted to RTP and now I'm trying to save my own life. The cool thing though is that this is actually a very rare biome or a rarer biome. This is an ocean biome. And I never really get to come across these. There are some cool Pokemon that can spawn here. I'm pretty sure it's even possible to get Dratini, which would be so cool to use a Dragonite. But even now, look, there's like Aracudas. We could use a Delmize. Like that would be sweet. Oh my gosh, is this a is this a magic <laughs> Call me crazy, but I think this is a magic harp house. No way. Yo, I don't know whose house this is, but shout out to you. Look at this. We can get some fishing rods. What? Yo, we got some nether brick too. Interesting. Okay. That is so cool though. This is the first time I've seen one of these magic harp houses or whatever they are. You know what? I have never had the chance to use a Barrascuda, so we're gonna use a Barrascuda. I feel like this is such an overlooked Pokemon from Sword and Shield, and it's actually really cool. So let's give homing a chance. I killed it. Nice. I killed it. Okay, but luckily for us, there is another one right here. We just got to catch up to it. Let's go. All right, this one's level 26. Maybe it'll be a little easier to catch. I didn't think Mega Drain would one-shot the level 31. Honestly, a bit shocking. Superior's a lot stronger than I thought. But the second one decides to stay in the quick ball, and we have caught Barrascuda. All right, well, we got four Pokemon, and it's not quite day three yet, so I think I'll just spend the rest of day two trying to track down another Pokemon for the team. Yo, a Hone Edge. Bro, as much as I would love to use a Hone Hone Edge, how do you get a Dusk Stone? In order to evolve Hone Edge's evolution into Aegislash, you need a Dusk Stone, and I just really don't want to go through that problem if I don't have to. Ooh, but maybe we'll find something cool in the desert. Who knows? But as you can see, the sun is coming up, so it is now day three. Let's try and finish up the rest of our team. I think we could definitely benefit from having a fire type on the team, which is funny because I just spawned in next to this lava. What the? I just got RTP'd out into the middle of the ocean. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, look at this, Larvesta. But that Pokemon evolves at like 59 or something. That is not worth it. But what do we have? Oh, I will take a Nummel. This will be such a fun fire type Pokemon to use. I, I'm down with it. And let's go. We have caught the Nummel. So we are now one Pokemon away from completing our squad. I mean, the team can change throughout the video. It's not, you know, set in stone. But for now, we only need one more team member before we can start training and then trying to accomplish some of our goals. But while we're looking for Pokemon, I definitely need to keep an eye out for any of the Kanto starter Pokemon. Because, of course, it is one of my goals to catch all three of them. <gasps> okay, yo, yo, yo. All right. I think I saw one of these earlier, but I've had a change of heart. I've never gotten the chance to use Cuffin or Copperage, so let's go ahead and make this the final member of our squad. And there we go. It stayed in the first ball. That's how you know it wants to be on the team. It was meant to be. And look at this. We got our full squad ready. Look, hit on top the cloud watcher. Interesting. But I think you guys know what time it is. It is time for us to grind up. Look at they're all just doing spins. My boy Barrascuda is flying. But it's time for us to hit the training room and this is honestly going to take a long time. We don't have the EXP share. We don't have EXP y'all. This is pure grinding. But thankfully, my goal for now isn't level 100. I just want to get everyone up to about the same level on the squad, maybe 45, 50. And then later on, we'll worry about getting everyone to 100 and completing that goal. But for now, I've got a date with the training room. I'll catch up with you guys afterwards. All right, and now that all our training is done, we've got our full squad here all at level 50, which of course isn't 100, but at least we're halfway to our goal, and oh my gosh, an elephant just jumped over me. But now that we got a relatively decent team, I think we should go ahead and try to knock out a few of our goals. And the only goal that we can really accomplish right now is catching all of the Kanto starter Pokemon, so we need to hunt down a Charmander. And the reason for that is that Charmander is the only Kanto starter that spawns during the day, so let's just try and knock that one out first. Look, we just saw a Ultra Wormhole spawn. I mean, by no means are we ready to go into Ultra Space, but maybe later. Oh, and of course, right after I train up my whole team, we find it. You know what? I'm gonna catch this JMO. This would actually have been such a fun Pokemon to use on the team, but hey, you know what? We can make some swaps later on. You know what? Never mind. It just did not... A crystal? What is a crystal? Alright, anyways, but it just didn't want to stay in the ball. I'm not wasting my time. Plus, we gotta save some balls for if we find a Charmander. I'm just looking for any little glimpse of orange that I see because I'm assuming it'll be a Charmander. Ooh, a Master Ball. 
Come on. A dragon scale? I mean, I guess that's cool. Oh my gosh, yo, Jangmo. Oh, what is that? We don't need a Jangmo. There's a Hakamo right here. Honestly, man, if I couldn't catch a Jangmo, there's no way I'm catching that. Come on, Charmander. I'm looking for you. Oh my God, guys, this is not good. If I don't find Charmander soon enough, then it's not gonna be daytime anymore and we won't have a chance at all to find it. <gasps> no way. No, <laughs> no way. Let's go catch it right now. We got a Charmander, baby. Yo, there's actually two. What? There's two right next to each other. All right, so I guess if I fail this one, we got our backup right over there. That's actually really nice considering I failed that Jangmo. Oh, and there's literally one right in front of Charmander. And there we go. We got Charmander. We are one third away from completing our goal. Or I guess I should have said two thirds away from completing the goal. We're one third. You know what? It doesn't matter. All right. So Bulbasaur only spawns in the morning and Squirtle only spawns at night. So I think the most logical thing to do right now is just RTP to find a beach biome and wait it out until night because that way we can just catch Squirtle and then wait until it's morning time to catch Bulbasaur and then boom, we're done with the goal. Come on. Where's the beach? Where's the beach? Let's go to the beach, beach. Oh, there we go. I got it. Somehow singing was the missing ingredient and we have found our beach biome. So like I said, we just gotta wait here until it is nighttime and we can catch our Squirtle, hopefully. And look at that. The beach is so calm at night. Let's see if we can find ourselves a Squirtle. Come here, Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. Where you at, buddy? Bro, I have searched this entire biome back to front like three times. There's no Squirtle. I just really don't want to have to wait until the next day to try this again. So we gotta get Squirtle now or never. Where are you, you little water turtle? Well, technically all turtles are water turtles, right? Come on, Squirtle. Wh why is it so small? That is the smallest Squirtle I have ever seen in my life. I want to bet you guys $50 each that I walked past this Squirtle like five times in this biome. I just wasn't expecting it to be that small. It's it's like fun size, dude. Wow, that, that really took me by surprise, but we still got really lucky having it show up. I'm actually really surprised. These Kanto stars are supposed to be kind of rare to find, and we just got Charmander and Squirtle back to back like that. But I feel like there's honestly no way we 3P and get Bulbasaur that fast as well. But unfortunately, we have ran out of Ultra Balls, so we've, we've only got Great Balls to catch this. No. Wait, what I can do, though, is leave the back and come back and keep throwing quick balls. Will this work? Bro, I am actually not able to catch this level 10 Squirtle. Come on, buddy. Like, I know starter Pokemon are supposed to be way harder to catch, but this is just ridiculous. What do I gotta do to catch a Squirtle? Oh my God, we're in the void now. Of course we're in the void. Squirtle, please. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, and look at the- Yeah, we're actually in the void. Get me out of here. Get me out of there. Oh my god, that is actually the hardest I've ever had to work for starter Pokemon. But just like that, though, we are only one Pokemon being Bulbasaur away from completing our goal of catching all of the Kanto starter Pokemon. All right, well, it's day nine now, and before we even consider going back out into the wild, we gotta stock up on some balls. And just like that, we got some Dusk Balls, Timer Balls, and Ultra Balls, we shouldn't have any problems catching Bulbasaur. Ah, dang, but unfortunately, I missed morning time, so we can't catch Bulbasaur now. But that is totally okay, because for today, we can check out the boss tower. Of course, for one of our goals, we need to defeat a legendary tier or higher boss, and those can be found here at the boss tower, which has multiple different floors, ranging from different levels of Pokemon and types of Pokemon. But right here, we have a rare boss, which I believe is a few tiers under legendary, so we gotta wait until we find one of those. The only problem is these Pokemon are all super high level. So if we wanna even have a shot at winning and taking out one of these bosses, we need to make sure our team is properly prepared. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I just took it out and the first thing we get is a Dusk Stone. Dude, I could have caught the Hone Edge. I don't know if I should be super upset right now or actually really happy, but I guess, you know what? If we find another Hone Edge, it's going on the team. Ooh, look at this. We have an epic boss right here. Still not legendary. I think that's one tier under, but let's check the level. Level 80. We definitely got to wait till we're level 100 until we come back. But I think this is the final level of the boss tower. Oh my God, dude. I am actually so scared to be here right now. Thankfully, this Politoed is only going for water gun though. So we get a nice win. We get a razor fang and a metal coat out of it. I'll take it. But I don't think there's any way we'd be able to take on a legendary boss right now. So let's just wait until later. Oh, but look at that, guys. All right, it's starting to turn nighttime. You know what that means. We're just gonna post up here, wait around until it's morning, and we're gonna see if we can 
catch ourselves a Bulbasaur. <sighs> oh, good morning, everyone. Wow, it was a long night, but we're here and we gotta find a Bulbasaur, baby. We staked out at this birch forest biome because, I mean, hey, Bulbasaur spawns here. Bulbasaur spawns a lot of places and a lot of different forests, but hey, this one works. And just like that, we found Bulbasaur. All we gotta do now is catch it. No, no, dude. Oh, I accidentally killed it. Yeah, yeah, I want vines from the Bulbasaur I just killed, bro. Dude, no, are you? I waited the entire night just to kill the Pokemon I needed to catch. All right, I guess we'll have to wait a little bit longer to complete that goal. I spent the rest of day 10 wallowing in my sorrow, but I figured that now would be a good time to start EV training my Pokemon. So I did what any strong trainer would do and bought all of the Eevee power items. And these items just speed up the process of Eevee training, which helps make our Pokemon a lot stronger. All right, well, I got the team fully Eevee trained, and honestly, that took quite some time, even with the power items. But I also took the time to nickname our Pokemon, so say hello to Hot Cheeto the Camerupt, Jet Ski the Barrascuda, Rose the Copperage, Trunks the Don Fan, and please subscribe please. Oh my god, and finally we found a birch forest biome again so we can search for Bulbasaur. That actually took me forever to find. Like, it's already nighttime, so we just gotta wait until morning and see if we can get lucky again. Alright, well, it's finally morning, so if we're gonna find a Bulbasaur, it's gonna be now. Bro, and I've been walking around forever. I think we missed our chance. Bulbasaur is just not gonna spawn anymore. Of course, there's always a chance that one just hasn't despawned yet, so we still got some time. If I could just make it past this apricorn tree. At this point, I've been looking for Bulbasaur for over two days, but you know what? It's something we need to do. We need to complete our goal. We just need to get a little bit lucky and we're set. That's it. Wait, did you guys hear that? I swear I just heard... I swore I heard something say Bulba. <laughs> Let's go, dude. If it wasn't for the sound, I would have not heard this Pokemon. Oh, come on. Please make this easy. Don't be as hard as Squirtle to catch. Come on, Bulbasaur. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, it broke free. All right. Well, you know what that means. It's time to just spam Ultra Balls until this Bulbasaur stays in. And just like that, we have officially completed our first goal of catching all three Kanto starter Pokemon. But now that we've knocked down one of our goals, it is time for us to decide what goal to go after next. And being that most of my goals, other than catching a shiny Pokemon, require having a strong team, I think we should go after that. So right now, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is a shiny Pokemon? And that's completely fine, because your boy Arpus is here to inform you. Shiny Pokemon are alternate colored versions of Pokemon that we know and love, but are extremely rare. How rare exactly? One in 4,096. So let's just say this goal is going to take me a long time to complete. I'm basically just gonna have to run around aimlessly in a bunch of different biomes until one of these Pokemon just decide to sparkle. But since this goal is completely reliant on luck, there's not even a guarantee that I can complete it. But I'm gonna do my best for you guys to try and track down a shiny Pokemon. So you know what? Let's start the shiny hunting montage. I said let's start the shiny hunting montage. All right, well, I have some very unfortunate news. My shiny luck is just non-existent right now, so I spent like three, four, five days running around and just no luck. But as you can see from the sun, it is now a new day, so let's focus on a different goal. And I think the goal that I want to aim for next is taking down a... Le Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just saying legendary boss and there's a legendary frost last boss right here. I mean, I don't think there's a chance that we can beat this. It's level 90, so I don't know. Okay, Rose hangs on. We go for the heavy slam and it does about half. There's actually a chance we can win this. Is it actually possible for us to win? There's no way. Shadow Ball takes us out. No. I think I was getting a little too ahead of myself. I don't think there's any way we can win this. Yeah, Jet Ski goes down. We do have Sucker Punch here though. Oh, it just doesn't do enough. It just doesn't do enough. Come on. Maybe if he misses Blizzard, we can somehow do this. Oh, it's on 1.1 HP. There's no way. There's 
There's no way. I'm so dumb. I should have used the full restore. I would have gotten my sturdy back. If he misses Blizzard here, we can take down the legendary boss, guys. Come on, please miss. Oh, and he doesn't even go for it. He goes for Shadow Ball. And we lose. Nice. Hold on. Okay, the bosses don't despawn, though. I want to give it one try. We literally got it down to 1.1 HP. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, okay. It didn't despawn. It's still here. We're going to try this again. All right. Knock off. Goes for Blizzard. He missed Blizzard. He missed Blizzard. This could be the one. This could so be the one. Oh, my gosh. We live the Shadow Ball again. And we take it out. And just like that, we have completed another one of our goals. We got leftovers for it, too. That is an amazing reward. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. I honestly did not think we were going to be able to beat that. I thought we were going to lose and then have to go do some grinding. But nope, we got two goals of our five done. All right, so I spent the last few days restocking on items, changing some moves on my Pokemon. But it's time to get back to some goals. All right, but I think I know what goal I want to knock out next. So obviously, the goal was to catch a legendary. So I can't just buy one of these beautiful legendary Pokemon. But what I can do is buy this lustrous orb here, which will help us summon the legendary Pokemon Palkia. But one thing I do know for sure is that we are nowhere near ready to take on this legendary. Because if you guys didn't know, all legendary Pokemon in this game spawn at around level 70 and all of our Pokemon are level 50. So let's just say I'm going to be spending a lot of time here in the training room, but it's much needed. We really need to do this training. It's also one of our goals to have a whole level 100 team of Pokemon. So you know what? We're kind of just killing two birds with one stone right now. But anyways, I will catch up with you guys once we are done with some training. Whoa, okay, so I was trying to grind money. <laughs> I was trying to grind money so we could actually spawn Palkia, and this legendary boss just dropped a Grisius orb. So that means we actually have the choice of getting either Palkia or Giratina now. No way. Dude, I actually can't believe that. So in order to actually spawn the legendaries, you need 25k, so that's what I've been grinding money for. I've just been getting these items and selling them from the boss tower. And I didn't even know that they could drop the items like that. So, hey, I mean, we could get a Giratina if we wanted. But right now, we are so close to 25k. We've got 23. So, you know what? Let's do a one more round at the boss tower. And then it's time to get a legendary. And just like that, we have enough. I'm going to clear the rest of my inventory. I mean, we don't need these other items. I don't know what the strange souvenir does in this game. I'll keep it around. But, hey, we got 25k. Let's head to the shrines and summon a legendary. All right, guys. But here we are at the shrine. And like I said, we do have the choice of the Grisius Orb for Giratina and the Lustrous Orb for Palkia. And I think we're just going to stick with our original decision of summoning Palkia. Dude, I'm actually really excited for this. I have never summoned a legendary, so let's just go ahead and do it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and summon our first legendary Pokemon. The altar must be bound by a red chain first. You've got to be kidding me, bro. I mean, I guess I could have just looked it up, but I did not know I needed the red chain, which means we need to first catch the entire late guardian tree before we even think about summoning Palkia. So with that in mind, we're actually gonna buy a different orb. And what this will allow us to do is summon either Zapdos, Moltres, or Articuno, which are all legendary. But first, I need to try and get another evolution stone so we can craft the next orb. And just like that, we get an Ice Stone from a Torkoal. So that's actually not fitting at all. And with that, we are able to craft an Orb of Frozen Souls. So if you take a look at the chat, we need to kill 375 more Pokemon for this orb to be charged. And once it's charged, we simply take it to the Frozen Shrine and spawn Articuno. But killing 375 Pokemon is going to take forever. So I'll catch up with you guys once we're done. And just like that, guys, we have fully charged our Orb of Frozen Souls, and now we can summon Articuno. But honestly, before we go ahead and do this, I think we should make a few adjustments to the team. Because looking at the team right now, we don't have any Pokemon that can use Thunder Wave, and also if anything happens to Rose, the Copperage, we're pretty much just gonna die. So before we try and catch Articuno, I do want to see if we can catch an electric Pokemon for Thunder Wave and also get an Aegislash on our team. And it looks like Hone Edge can spawn at Savannah Plateaus at nighttime, so we just gotta RTP until we find a Savannah. And just like that, boom, we have found our Savannah biome, and now we just gotta wait for night, and then 
It's Age of Slash time. Or I guess Hone Edge time. I mean, we still gotta evolve it first, but that's okay. And I guess while we're waiting for nighttime to happen, we can walk around and look for some Pokemon that can learn Thunder Wave, because now that I think about it, we don't actually have to catch an electric Pokemon, just a Pokemon that can learn Thunder Wave. Whoa, look what we have here. Okay, what is this? This is actually sweet. Okay, what's here? We got Wismer, got some torches. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Bro, this is crazy. I guess I should just get some materials. I don't know. Oh, right here. Electrike. Boom. Well, that was easy enough. All right, so we have our electric type Pokemon, and it's about to be... No. No, I messed it up. We're in the void. All right, well, I mean, I guess it's nighttime now, so <laughs> it's kind of an instant way to do it. But there we go. We caught our electric. What I was going to say, though, is it's about to be nighttime, but let me just relog real quick. All right, beautiful. Well, we're back here in the savannah at nighttime, so let's look around, see if we can find ourselves a Hone Edge. And it is around a 35% spawn rate, so it shouldn't be too hard to find, but it's always luck. There we go. We got a nice little hone edge right here. I saw that immediately. All right, level 32. Not bad as well. We, you know, shouldn't be too hard to train up. I am going to do my best, though, to get both of these Pokemon up to around level 70, because I'm pretty sure that's the level of Articuno, so we got a little more grinding to do. But this is where I become so thankful for the training rooms, because I don't know if I'd be able to do this without them. And thank God we also have a lucky egg, too, but I'm going to spend some time here grinding. It's probably going to take a few days. I don't know, but but I'll catch up with you guys when both of these Pokemon are like level 70. Hey, let's go. Oh my, yo, I can't really get a good view of it, but Electric is evolving. What is happening on my screen? This is terrifying. I'm just trying to evolve my Pokemon. But there we go. We got ourselves some Electric. And just like that, Hone Edge is evolving too into Double Edge. So we just got to use the Dust Stone and we got ourselves an Aegislash. And let's go. We just use the Dust Stone on our Double Edge. So you already know. We're about to get the strong, the powerful Aegislash on our team. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And just like that, we got the whole team leveled up. G Fuel and Sword Hands, the new additions. It is time for us to go ahead and catch Articuno. Now, something I also decided to do was pick up the False Swipe TM for our Aegislash, and we can just reteach any of these moves, so it kind of doesn't matter what we delete. I'm just going to get rid of Sacred Sword for now, but let's go and fight Articuno. Or I guess I should say catch, but here we are, guys it is time for us to finally summon and catch Articuno. I'd honestly be lying if I didn't say I was a little nervous right now. But let's go ahead and summon Articuno. Here we go, baby. All right, we got him paralyzed. Next game plan, get him down to one HP, and then it's just time to throw balls. Oh my God, I'm so happy that Iron Head didn't kill. That was actually really close. I probably shouldn't have done that, but you know what? Whatever. Yo, I think there's like a visual bug. Look at that. The Pokeball doesn't even shake at all. What? That is so weird. I've never... Is it... Hopefully it's just just like a visual glitch like this doesn't mean that we can't catch Articuno hopefully I've thrown like 15 ultra balls and each one like the Pokemon doesn't even go in it I, I'm so confused we catch we got it we got Articuno oh my god I was so scared that it was glitched and we weren't gonna be able to catch it but there we go baby we have caught Articuno and completed our goal of catching a legendary Pokemon Let's go. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I actually cannot believe that. Let's go, baby. Look at this, man. We have our first legendary Pokemon, Articuno. How you doing, buddy? You're looking pretty chill there. And I'm not just saying that because you're an ice type. Just like that, we only have two more goals that we need to accomplish in these 100 days. And the unfortunate thing is one of those goals is completely luck dependent, and that is finding a shiny Pokemon. But like I said before, shiny Pokemon are insanely rare, so this goal might not even be possible to complete. You know, our other goal of getting a team of level 100 should be easy. All you gotta do is grind. It just takes a while. But even before I do that, I think I wanna make a few adjustments to the team. I don't know what I wanna change exactly yet, but I'm just pretty sure we could get a better water Pokemon than Barrascuda. Um, guys? Okay, so that was weird. I guess the server timed out or something. Oh, and look at this. Well, we're out here looking for a shiny a Charmander spawn, so we could've just completed our goal here. I didn't have to waste all of that time looking for all the starters. All right, so while I was exploring, I actually found a Pokemon gym that scales to your level. So I, you know what? Let's add this to one of our goals. Let's try and beat this. I really have like no idea what to expect from this gym at all, but we're just going to try our best. Go for a hurricane. I mean, you know what? Should I try and keep Articuno alive? I'm going to try and keep Articuno alive. You know, that'd be stupid. Earthquake does so much. It does so Can I heal in this battle? Oh my God. The frost last switch on the hip on top. I'm going for the sucker punch and we avoid the blizzard. He swords dances on me. Oh my, that is not good at all. Okay, we're gonna go for Iron Head. Dugong is back out here. I think this might be the last. Po oh, 
he goes for fake out and kills me. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, um, okay, Glaceon. Can we take on Glaceon? Oh, it just gets one shot. And Frostlass is here, last but not least. No way it's able to take out Rose. And just like that, we have won the battle. We got the Glacier Badge, TM for Ice Fang. Let's go. But it doesn't stop there. We have another battle right here against a Weavile. Ooh, that's not... Okay, that's actually really scary. I think this whole gym is ice-themed, honestly. So Rose the Copperage is going to be doing a lot of work here. Glaceon comes out, goes for Barrier. We're going to Heavy Slam, goes for Ice Beam, barely does anything. Get that Heavy Slam off. Let's go, baby. Oh, that was it. Not sure why that battle was easier than the other one, but let's do it again. We got another Cloyster? Get this out of here, bro. Get this out of here. Wait a second. Yo, this Cloyster has the King's Rock. If you don't know what that is, the King's Rock is an item that if your Pokemon holds it and you attack another Pokemon, there's a chance that you can flinch them, meaning they don't attack. And that coupled with Cloyster's skill link ability, which lets it attack five times in a row with any, you know, linking moves, uh, there's a huge chance you're gonna hit flinches. So the fact we even got past that Cloyster right there, I'm honestly shocked. All right, there we go. We got that battle done. I don't even know, like, what the final goal is here. I mean, we already beat the gym, so I'm just kind of confused. And Deli Bird just fell off the platform. No, buddy, not again. I think this person might just have three Deli Birds. All right, what's your obsession, bro? Yeah, and there we go. We beat it. All right, so what's next? Nothing? Wh what? There's no way. I just, I mean, honestly, I should have known. I, I should have known. The gym leader's down here. What would have possibly been up there? You know what, man? I'm gonna pretend like I'm not confused, but I am very confused right now. Anyways, let's heal up our Pokemon and continue looking for a shiny. But look at this, though. We have a beautiful village right next to that gym. Hello, Minin. How are you? You know what? I think I'm just gonna explore this village for a little. It's a pretty village, but it doesn't look like there's much going on in it. And well, get it? Because that's a well. It also doesn't have any shiny Pokemon in it, so let's hit the road and keep looking. I guess that was well-timed. I'm actually not sure at all what we're supposed to do with this Glacier Badge, but hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad we have it. All right, well, I pretty much spent this whole day doing that gym and shiny hunting. Well, just walking around, I guess. Oh, wait, there's a Master Ball. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please be a Master Ball. It is a ranch upgrade. Interesting. But as I was saying, yes, we did spend the whole day just running around and doing that gym, so when morning comes, we're actually gonna do a shiny hunting montage and hopefully the next time i talk to you guys we'll have a shiny not 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 shiny definitely not shiny not shiny not shiny not shiny and not shiny. Honestly, that's about all the patience I have right now. Uh, let's do something else. I know I talked about revamping the team a little bit before we get everyone to level 100, so let's go ahead and do that. So what Pokemon do I want on the team? Well, of course, I need my favorite Pokemon. And I've said it before, Absol is my favorite Pokemon, so we're gonna swap Absol for Jetski, the Barrascuta. And I think we're also gonna swap Hitmontop for something, but I'm really not sure. It's honestly a great Pokemon. And one of the places where Absol is easiest to find is the end, so we're gonna try Travel to the end dimension, try and find ourselves an Absol. But let's see what we find. Dude, the end spawns are so cool. We have Drampo, Wobbuffet. I mean, Abra's pretty normal, but we came... <laughs> It's literally right here. One of the first Pokemon that we see. That is too funny. All right, Absol. I'm not leaving this place without adding you to my team. All right, I'm telling you that right now. Let's go for the false swipe. Get Absol down to one HP. So easy. And oh, I wonder if Dusk Balls are just super boosted here. That would make sense, right? Oh my gosh, Aegislash just got one shot. You know what? I'm gonna try it. Dusk Ball. It broke free. How is that even fair? There we go, though. We captured Absol. Easy peasy. And just like that, we have paid. Pandora the Absol on the squad. Welcome to the team, buddy. And honestly, I'm loving the team, but for some reason, I'm still thinking it's missing something. And for that reason, let's go ahead and see if we can search for one more Pokemon to add to the team. So for that reason, we're just gonna walk around a bit and see if there's any Pokemon that we really wanna add to the team. I'm thinking Hitmontop is the mod I wanna replace, so maybe a better fighting type. Oh, you know what? Being in this extreme hills biome just reminded me of a certain Pokemon. 
Pokemon. Jangmoo. So you know what? Let's go ahead and wait out until day and catch ourselves a Jangmoo. It's great because its evolution is not only dragon, but it's also fighting type. So it really helps fill Hitmontop's void when it gets replaced. Yo, we can just take this as our replacement. That's a fully evolved Mianxiao, bro. Oh my gosh. But it's morning time now. Only a few more moments and we can have ourselves a Jangmoo. What are you doing, Team Flare Grunt? Stay away from me. Come on, Jangmoo. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? This is honestly a pretty small Extreme Hills biome. So if there's one that spawned here, I'm going to find it. Of course, I get teased like that. Are you? Oh, hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Okay, honestly, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. All right, come on. Let's get lucky. Give me give me this with a quick ball. Give me with a quick ball. Come on. Come on. The luck. The luck. Let's go, baby. We got ourselves Jangmo. First try. Heck yeah. No, what? Wait. Literally right next to it. Oh, we're catching this. Never mind Jangmo. We're catching the evolution, baby. This saves me so many levels that I have to grind up. Are you kidding me? That is like the best luck ever. And look at that. First try as well. Give it to me, babe. Let's go. But of course, with a fully completed team, you guys know what time it is. It is time for us to spend a lot of time here in the training room. And thankfully, with the magic of editing, you guys don't have to see all this boring grinding. I have to do it, but you guys don't have to see it. But uh, let's just say this is going to take me a while. So uh, see you guys when it's over. And just like that, we have our final Pokemon at level 100. Peep the team. Hold up. Hold up. Let me hide the chat. There you go. Now you can see the full squad in its glory at level 100. And with that, guys, we have completed our fourth goal of this 100-day challenge. And we only have 10 more days to complete our final goal of catching a shiny Pokemon. To be honest, I did expect this goal to take this long. Like, it's not supposed to be an easy one to complete. But something I just realized, we are 90 days into this 100 days challenge, and um, I don't have a house. I mean, like, can you really blame me? We didn't really need a place to live for any of the stuff we did, but I might as well make a house. Oh, and something I just realized while I was selling items, uh, I had eight rare candies. I wish I knew that when I was grinding. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves some spruce. Now that we got all the blocks that I think I'll need, we just gotta find a spot and honestly buy this pond this this looks pretty cool and look at that we have our perfect claimed land let's start filling it in well um i finished oh my god you guys are gonna make fun of me i said it in my last 100 days but i am the worst builder okay i i can't build anything that looks good this is honestly the best i could do so don't don't, don't make fun of me all right nah i'm just kidding you guys can make fun of me i know it's a terrible house just let me hear it just don't be too mean you know i'm a person at the end of the day jeez but i guess building that house did waste us some time because now we only have eight days left to find a shiny pokemon which i really hope we can do it would suck to get this close and not be able to complete all of our goals. All right, well, I spent the rest of the night shiny hunting and of course, no luck. So I need to kick this into overdrive. All right, I need to shiny hunt like I've never shiny hunted before. We've got seven days to do this. Let's do it right now. Oh man, I can't believe this. Are we like the unluckiest Pokemon trainer ever? What's going on? I feel like I've been shiny hunting for over half this challenge and we've just had no luck at all. Oh my gosh, guys. We only have two days left to find a shiny. It's not looking good. I don't know if we can do this. Please, Arceus Pixelmon gods, make a shiny show up. Please, pretty please, please. Day 99. This could not get any worse. Any shinies in the water? Magic cart? No? All right. Wait. Oh my god. No freaking way. That's a shiny. That is a shiny freaking Rhyhorn. Oh my, dude, I, I, my hands are shaking. I cannot believe it. The shiny finally shows up on day 99. There is no way. And just like that, we have captured the shiny Rhyhorn. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to the PC immediately to check this out. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe that. 
Rhyhorn. Welcome to the team, buddy. It is such a good shiny too. Rhydon is one of my favorite Pokemon, so the fact that we got the pre-evolution is just insane to me. But guys, with that, we have completed all of our goals in the 100 Days in Pixelmon Challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed. And also, come find me on the Kyogre server of Smash.mc. IP in the description below.